Hello everyone. I want to show you guys how to make wheat berry salad today. And it's very, very simple. And you pretty much just go by taste with this one. These are wheat berries. I cook them by soaking them for a few hours and then boiling them for about 45 minutes. But there is kind of a discrepancy in the way people tend to think you're supposed to cook these. Some people say you have to soak them overnight. Some people say it's not necessary, just cook them for an hour. I don't know, I, I tried it both ways. It works both ways, it does. <laughs> yeah, and I made, I made a cup dry wheat berries to start, but when I soak them, they fluff up. They're very, very chewy, very, very good. And they're very good for you because they're a whole grain. And then what you wanna do is, you wanna get some dark, sweet, dry cherries and you wanna get some walnuts, either chopped or whole, cause you can chop them. I'm actually gonna chop them a little bit more. You wanna get some apple. I would use a sweet apple, but you can also use a Granny Smith or a Jazz or one of the sour kind of apples too, if you like. I have a green onion. This is just half of one green onion because I'm not gonna make that entire thing into the salad. I just want, you need some fresh parsley. It doesn't matter if it's curly parsley, regular parsley, Italian parsley. Any parsley will do. And then I have lime juice, although it doesn't call for it because it calls for lemon juice. You mix a couple tablespoons of lemon juice or less if you're making less with some olive oil. I'm using unfiltered extra virgin olive oil. You can use any kind of olive oil you like. Mix the lemon and the olive oil together. And then you, you know, of course, salt and pepper to taste, but you wanna make it the way you like it. And this is a very forgiving recipe. So what we want to do is we want to take our green onion, cut it into a couple pieces. You can use more or less, it's up to you. Chop it lengthwise, and then you just start chopping it into smaller pieces like this. It's really forgiving, guys. It doesn't matter how much you chop it. You could probably even make it circles, easy enough. And then you want to do the same with your parsley, just chop the parsley, same way. And next you wanna chop up your apple. You can leave the skin on or you can take it off. That's entirely up to you. But you wanna cut it into kind of small pieces. You know, just, these. this is fine for my purposes. If you want them larger or smaller, that's that's your decision. Now I'm just gonna put some with skin, some without, just to show you. Oops, no, we have all this on one. It doesn't matter, it's all going into the same bowl anyway. Next, you wanna take your walnuts and your dried sweet cherries. I bought them this way, and you just kinda wanna sort of roughly do this. I mean, it doesn't matter. You can leave them whole if you like. Now this is a lot of cherries. I don't even know if I need this. These tend to stick to the knife, kind of awful. <laughs> you know, that, that's another thing. You know, it's not fun cutting dark sweet cherries. And this knife's pretty sharp. And then, you know, I have some already chopped walnuts. Maybe I'll just give them a couple extra chops here. But, you know, not a big deal. It's going into the bowl with the wheat berries. We want to mix some lemon juice with some olive oil. So we're doing the half of the wheat berries. These are cooked from the large bowl to the small bowl because this is all I'm going to make. This bowl is about the size of my hand. Of course, my hands are kind of small, but just to give you a rough approximation of how much it is because I'm not measuring this. I've never measured this when I've made it. I wasn't taught this recipe in school or anything because it's very forgiving and you can put different things in it. You can alternate items. You know, you could put a pear instead of a apple, you could put a plum. Anything would really taste very good with this. You could even mix the wheat berries with another grain or something like that, which I think I might do in the future. Now, as I've uh, told you guys before, I have a lemon allergy. I can eat a little bit of lemon, but if I eat a whole lot of it, I get ill. So I'm going to put, I don't know, I think that's about a teaspoon for the whole entire thing. And I'm not even going to eat all this myself. And then I'm going to put I don't know, I would say, let's see, that's about a teaspoon. Now, obviously you wanna measure this if you don't know how to eyeball things perfectly. Four, yeah, it's about four, four and a half teaspoons. 
And then of course you want to put a little bit of salt to taste. I, I only need a little bit. No, you guys might want a little bit more. Or you can just put a little bit of salt on here too, right on the wheat berries. You want to put some pepper on your wheat berries. I'm just putting about six grinds of this kind of pepper that I got at Trader Joe's, but you can get your pepper grinded pepper. But if you're making like a cup or two cups of wheat berries and you're making it all into a salad, I would say a half a teaspoon of depending on how you like it. We're going to mix the lemon juice and the oil. Now, if it were for me and I was going to eat this, I would be using half lime juice because I don't have an allergy to lime. But if you do this, you want to make it with all lemon. If you can eat any lemon, you can make it with all lime. It'll have a slightly different flavor, but it will still taste just fine. And if you want it to taste a little bit sweeter, I recommend that you would use a little drop of maple syrup or honey and maybe not sugar. If you have to use sugar, use brown sugar. But I'm just trying to give you guys um, some suggestions. I usually put a little bit of maple syrup because I like things sweet. But if I want it completely savory or like I'm making it for someone else, I, I don't put the sugar in. I just do it the way I have it here. You just put your ingredients in. You put some of your dark cherries in there and get your apples and your parsley and your sh and your green onion and you know you just kind of put what you think is the right ratio for what you like now see if you want to have it mostly wheat berries that's fine if you want to have less wheat berries and you want a whole lot of other things you can add other stuff too you could put a cooked shallot in here you could put some raw and or cooked garlic. I think that would be amazing. This is just how I make it. You could also add some other kinds of dried fruit, some uh, candied peel, anything you like. Personally, I like to have a lot of walnuts. I like to have a lot of these cherries in mine. But you know, you might need a half a cup of dry sweet cherries if you're gonna make the entire lot with a couple cups of cooked wheat berries. I don't know how many walnuts it is. I've never measured because I always use a lot of them. If you don't like walnuts, you can also use pecans. Use the amount of this that you like over it. Now, if you're making a lot, like I said, a couple cups, to feed a few different people. You're gonna need to make more of this. You're probably gonna need a quarter to a half a cup of oil for that much. You're probably going to need several more teaspoons of the lemon or lime juice. I try to skimp on the lemon, you know, and this is not for me, but I'm going to taste it. And I'm lucky that I can eat any at all because when I was a child, I couldn't have any lemon. Now I'm just doing this slowly. You can toss it if you like. Let me taste this and see if there's enough salt. See, I think there's enough salt. You do everything by taste, guys. I'm just giving you the ingredients. Now, I think it would be good with a plum in it. I don't have a plum right now. I think it could be good with the Granny Smith apple. I also think it could use more apple. So there you go. I think that if you want it to be more complex, you could also use a Greek dressing on this or a cucumber dressing, or you could make your own dressing with some red wine vinegar, olive oil, or avocado oil would work too. This is really good, guys. Wheat berries have an amazing texture. If you haven't tried them, try them. I think there's parts of the country where people eat them all the time. It's very healthy as well. Even if you added a little bit of sweetness, it wouldn't need a lot. Just a couple drops. I don't think I would recommend cilantro, but I, I mean, a lot of fresh spices would taste great in here. Um, even a little bit of mint would taste good in here, I think, if you didn't overdo it. Wheat berry salad with tart sweet dried cherries and apples. With a very basic oil and lemon dressing. So thank you for watching, guys. Um, try and let me know if you like it. Thanks. Thanks for subscribing, watching, and everything. And I will talk to you guys soon.